What's up you guys, John Rizzo here, back with another video, I'm back with another cooking vlog. Today you guys, I'm going to be cooking up rosemary garlic lime chicken. And I'm going to be um, cooking it with, on the side, I'm going to make a potato salad and a butter garlic, butter garlic noodles sauteed sauteed uh green beans all right so let's start cooking okay guys right now i'm gonna be putting three limes into a bowl so i can pour it on top of the chicken probably gonna season it up so three limes a lot of chicken here. That's enough. This is enough. And you guys, I want to give a big shout out to Adriana who is behind the camera behind the camera. So give a quick shout out to her. Doing an excellent job of recording these videos for you guys. So now I'm gonna take two rosemaries and just two rosemaries and chop it up because I want to infuse the chicken Stuff is powerful, guys. Very powerful. I'm just taking out the uh, the stems that I was cooking. I mean, I was cutting it with. It's gonna be tough. Chop it up very fine, guys. Just like that. You add that in the line. Now, let's take some garlic. bit of black pepper mix the mixture together so you already got the garlic salt pepper garlic salt pepper and rosemary with the lime juice mix a little marinade with it that up the salt Then you want to add a little bit of olive oil so when you when the chicken is cooking it won't stick you know what i mean and it would give it a nice uh 
nice texture to the sauce, to the marinade. It makes it look like a bit of grat, you know what I mean? Now, you want to add this, this mixture on top of the chicken. Look how nice that is. You want to get everything coated. And before you do that, you have to wash your hands. Exactly. Wash your hands. My hands is already washed. Mm, looking good, looking good. The star of the show over here is the rosemary. Rosemary is gonna give a nice, nice, nice flavor to the chicken. Everything looks coated. Yeah. want to take a few more rosemary just you know just chop it up fine and just you know throw it on top you know a couple more Everything get covered. Smelling great, guys. Okay. Make sure you get your oven heated to 350 degrees to get it to get preheated. I'm gonna put the, the potatoes at. Give it a quick wash. I don't need this no more. Uh, always when you when you when you when you're cooking guys, always make sure you clean at the same time so it won't get kind of heavy for you later on, you know what I mean? All right, let's start preparing these green beans. Got a whole bowl full of green beans here to prepare for you guys. These chicken, let it marinate in the, in, the, in, the, in the refrigerator for at least 10 minutes while the oven is preheated. Okay, let's get these green beans started. You want to cut the tips off. These in this bowl. Boom. Okay, guys, let me cut these green beans and I'll get back at you in a minute. Guys, just finished cutting up the green beans. Look nice and you know, you gotta cut the tip off because it's not good, you know what I mean? It's all the roots. But I got the oven uh, preheated already. So let me take out the chicken. Nice and marinated. You get whatever, whatever roasting pot you have. Add the chicken inside. Make them nice, you know, separate them a little bit. Smells good. Add a little bit of salt on top. Add a little bit of pepper on top. OK. 
Okay. Do a little mix. And a little bit of. Uh, it has oil. Okay. Let's pop these in the oven, guys. Chicken is cooking. Always wash your hands. Always wash your hands. You want to prep the potatoes. I, I don't like to cut the um the skin off. I like to wash them real good. And then wash them real good. And boil it and put them to, to, to cook like that, you know? Because tail skin has a lot of good source of protein. You don't guys don't know about that. It has a lot of good parts of protein. So, you gotta wash them real good. They're dark. This is how you know you get those out nice and washed. They become white. That's nice and washed. Compared to that. Compared to this. Look at this. Nice and washed. All right, guys. So let me let me wash these more um wash these potatoes off for the potato salad and I'll get back at you in a minute. Okay guys, just here cutting the potatoes so I could um put them on water so they could boil. The water's already almost kind of it's hot already, so I forgot to tell you guys, but the chicken, once you pop them in a 350 degrees oven, you gotta the time it's literally an hour to cook that. You know what I mean? But from time to time, from time to time, you gotta like turn the chicken over. You know what I mean? So you could get you could get both sides, you know? Alright guys, let me pop these uh um, potatoes in the uh, in the water. Watch out you don't get burned. Cook these potatoes until it's nice and tender, nice and soft in the middle. I, I cut them up in half so it could be easier and faster to um to cook. Okay, potatoes are ready. Um, now give it a quick wash. Another thing guys, I'm gonna bring you guys another video. After this video, I'm gonna bring you guys another video. I'm gonna do a dessert, but that type of dessert, I'm gonna let you guys know in the next video, all right? So, I'm gonna put up two videos today. So basically, I'm making this one right now and be prepared for the next one that I'm gonna make in a little while. So, I'm not gonna do the green bean jam. I'm gonna wait till the um till the potatoes are, are nice and tender, nice and tender, and then the chicken is all halfway done for me to do the green beans. And all right, guys, let let these two bad boys cook, and I'll come back at you. Guys, okay. The potatoes are the potatoes are done. Once you pork a fork in it and it goes right through, it's cooked. So let's get this bad boy into the dump this water out. Ay ay ay. 
how nice this potato is looking. Put this in the bowl. Mash it up. Spoon, smash this bad boy. See how it's breaking up, nice and tender. Mash it up, very nice guys. You gotta be careful because you know it's hot. I like to do it when it's hot. Everything mixes up very nice when it's hot. Blend it in a little bit. I like my potato salad kind of chunky. Okay. Now, get some mayonnaise and some butter and a little bit of milk. I like to add uh, the butter. It makes it creamy, buttery. A spoonful of butter is good enough. It starts melting and starts coating every potato. Nice size, generous, be generous to manage. Be generous with the mayonnaise, guys. Look how that's turning out. Look how that's turning out, guys. Look how creamy that looks. I have a lot of wrist muscles. It's kind of tough to mix. I'm gonna get tired after doing this. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And at the end, add a bit of the salt. Flavor. There you guys have it. Potato salad. Now, let me, let me show you guys the chicken. How this chicken is looking. Come over here, H. Let's see how this chicken is looking, guys. How this bad boy is looking. Nice and juicy. It's already toasting up a little bit.
and with the sauce that you have, that the chick, or the, the lime sauce with the garlic and the thyme, you can actually take it and do a little gravy out of it. You know what I mean? At the end, you can literally do a gravy out of that, out of the sauce. And while you're cooking, you could pour it on top of the top of the chicken. You know, at the end, come out very good. All right, guys, I'm just waiting on the chicken. I'm just waiting on the chicken. Then after the chicken is done, potato salad is done. After the chicken, then I'm gonna head out and do the green beans. And dinner is served. Come back at you in a minute. Back, you guys. <clears throat> Here. I got a couple of more minutes left with the chicken I down in the oven. You see, it's almost done. Now we we'll just get started with the green beans. Pan it nice and hot. Add like a tablespoon of butter. Get that melted. Get that melted. Wow. Melt it. Bam. Add a tablespoon of garlic. Add it with, with, the, uh, with, the, with the butter. Combine it together, marry, you know, let it get married. Get that going. A little bit of salt. Green beans in. Green beans in. Let it marinate together. Let it get married, guys. Let the green beans, butter, and garlic get married. Let's fry up a little bit there. Good. You gotta let it cook until it gets like you know a little charred, charred on the outside, like black, like a little bit of like like charred, and, and until the green beans are nice and tender. Let it cook. Alright, you hear it sizzling? Let it cook, let it cook. Yeah guys, so I'm gonna get this green beans um, um cooked. Got the chicken almost done, almost ready. Then it's almost time to plate. So let me get this green beans um out the way and I'll be back at you when I started playing, playing the food. Okay guys, green beans are done. Got them nice and uh, cooked and charred. Now let's plate this plate for you guys. This is what I do. Put a spoonful of mash, tail side of meat in the, in the middle. You add, put the nice chicken crisp right on top and then take a handful of green beans and just leave it on top look how beautiful that plate looks guys so there you go so there you go you got potato salad with the lime garlic rosemary chicken and with uh, butter, garlic, green beans. That's how you make the dish. And there goes your there goes your cooking video for today, guys. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. And also, I'm gonna leave my PayPal link in the description below if you guys feel generous, if you wanna donate to the Rizzo family. All right, guys, there goes your video for today. See you in the next video. Peace.